What is up YouTube? It's day five of Expedition SEMA. Our trip along the Continental Divide Trail from the Canadian border to the Mexican border. We're already packed up at camp and we're hitting the road. We got a little bit of driving to do today. We're heading down to Yellowstone. And we're gonna hang out there. I guess there's a lodge there. I don't really know much about Yellowstone. I've never been there. There's a lodge there that Aaron says is the biggest log structure in the United States or the world. Maybe the world. It's a little cold, so the screen's fogging up, but um, that's what we're gonna do. And we're also gonna go check out Old Faithful and all that fun stuff. And I don't really know the rules of filming and stuff inside Yellowstone, so I don't know how much content there's gonna be for today. Technically, if you're filming for money, then you can't film inside Yellowstone without a permit. I don't have a permit, and since the YouTube channel is making money, I'm pretty sure I can't do anything inside there. I'll take some pictures, follow us on Instagram, that Trailspin TV, and you'll be able to see those. And it should be a good time. Spike's gonna come with us, I believe. Hang out with us for the day. He's got a show in, I don't know. He's got a show Friday night, Saturday night, so he's just kind of swinging through, camping out, hanging out with us, old friend of uh, Ed and Aaron's, so. That's it, we hit the road. So we're here, we're in Yellowstone. And uh, <laughs> we're about a quarter of the way through the park on uh, what I believe is 89. Heading to Old Faithful and we're just sitting here with our trucks off at what looks like a construction area. So, uh, not really seeing anything too crazy. I mean, it was beautiful on the way in. Uh, Mammoth Springs and that whole area and all the cliffs and stuff were coming in. We came in through the north side. But, um, it's rainy, it's chilly, and it's still packed. Like, the park is still packed. So, we're just hanging out. Like I said before, uh, can't really walk around and film for the YouTube channel. So, um, you know, without a commercial permit, which is unfortunate. So I'm not sure how much content we're gonna get out of today. Um, the plan is to check out Pioneer Lodge and also Old Faithful. And I guess there's some kind of, I don't know, Pierre is talking about some kind of multicolored something. I don't know if it's like a rock or Something I don't know anything about uh, Yellowstone. My first time here. It is beautiful though. Wish the weather was a little bit better. Um, but you know, it is what it is. We will be checking out Pioneer Lodge. Ryan um, and I both want to camp. Some of the other guys are talking about getting a room at the lodge. Maybe splitting rooms or something, but... I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to camp. I came here to camp, and that's what I'm going to try to do. So, me and Ryan might end up splitting, Ryan and I might end up splitting off from the group a little later on and uh, trying to find a place to camp. And there's a lot of RVs here. I didn't see anybody with tents set up. And there's only a couple of campgrounds that are open this time of year. So, yeah, that's the plan, and that's what we're doing. Um, we kind of had to go this way anyway. This is in the direction that we're headed towards Wyoming, so 
figured if we were going to be that close to the park, might as well get in. Uh, it was only 35 bucks. I don't know what it normally costs. It was under the impression that it cost more than it ended up costing. So, yeah, I don't know if you can hear Roscoe, but he's snoring. back so yeah that's it it's day five and um, I've been going through some of the footage and realized that the mic on the cannon is absolutely garbage I mean I, I had heard that they're not great but I had done some videos with uh, without a mic attached external mic attached and they were fine but when there's a lot of noise going on in here like a lot of bumps and the engine running and the exhaust and everything rattling around everything just starts to peak out and it sounds terrible so switch my setup a little bit not going to use the gimbal for these vlog type things and uh, i got a mic attached at the top right now hopefully it sounds better and i'm probably going to do less recording while driving but um so uh if any of the footage from the past few days um was a little irritating audio wise sorry um, some of the stuff was kind of too good to get rid of and as far as content goes and uh, you know whatever not a professional setup I'm just trying to document everything so um, that's it here we are Yellowstone so that was a fun little trip to Yellowstone. It's been pouring rain all day. It's pouring rain right now. We're actually making our way out of the park. Uh, we just saw a couple hot spring sites and um, some geysers. Went to Old Faithful, got to watch it erupt. Um, recorded it, can't put it in this channel, unfortunately, but um, I'm sure you guys have seen videos of that before. There's no reason to put that on here, but uh, the plan is right now we're heading east towards Cody, Wyoming. We're in Wyoming now, obviously. And uh, try to find a place to camp. There's a couple guys kind of want to get do a room. I mean, it's just downpouring. We don't know if the weather is going to change in our favor um, by the time we get to a place where we think we can camp. But we got to get out of Yellowstone first. There's no uh, campsites that are open in Yellowstone except for three, and they're all booked up. So. It is off season, but um, and it's Thursday. It's still packed. A lot of tourists. And, uh, we were thinking about staying at Old Faithful Lounge. I mean, Lounge, Old Faithful Lodge. But uh, we just decided that it was way too crazy. It was way too chaotic. I mean, it was it was so packed that everybody was just rubbing shoulders with everybody else. So, um, plus, the rooms are a little expensive. Ryan and I are kind of wanting to camp, so regardless of rain, if it's raining, I'd still like to camp. I don't really want to stay in a hotel. My, my purpose on this trip was to do the whole thing, camp the whole thing. We've already stayed in a room a couple nights ago, so since it's only day five, if we were to stay in a hotel tonight, then that would mean that we stayed in a hotel twice out of five days, and I also stayed in hotels two nights leading up to the trip, so. I've had enough of hotels. I want to see the outside. Everything nature has to offer, whether that's cold, wet, rainy, snowy, whatever. So that's my plan. Um, the general consensus is everybody is down to camp, even if it's raining. It's just a matter of whether we can or can't find a place. So. Moving on, just uh, cruising along, heading east, and touch base when something exciting happens.
I was gonna do a little like campground confessions kind of touch base on what it's like when the camera's off but this is not ideal camera conditions take that off doesn't matter Lens is foggy. Lens was sitting in the Jeep. Take the mics on. Mics on. Camera was sitting in the Jeep. It's about, I don't know, 40 something degrees, maybe 30 something. It's raining. I'm currently rubbing my sweatshirt sleeve against the lens to try to get all the fog off of it. And I can't because this has been sitting in the Jeep. And then I brought it into the tent and the tent is currently heated. That little glowing orb. By uh, Mr. Buddy heating system 20 pound propane tank hooked up to a little propane heater I've been wearing this sweatshirt for three days so I'm sure whatever's on my sleeve that I'm rubbing the lens with is probably not clean probably not a proper lens wipe My little monitoring screen is also foggy. I'm using a Chinese battery, so this is a battery that came with the camera. Every time I plug it in, the camera asks me if the battery has a Canon logo on it. Then you click no. It asks you if you still want to continue using that battery. You usually click yes. Click, click, click. I usually click yes. I usually click yes. Because I need the extra battery. I have a Canon battery and this fake battery. Now, when you use the fake battery, it doesn't tell you how much of the battery is left. So right now, I have no idea how long this is going to record for. No matter how many times I wipe this lens, Can't go, I can't get a clear shot. Turn my light off. Doesn't really help. Let's turn the ISO. ISO is like all the way up. Shutter speed. Turn it up. Gets darker. Turn it down. Gets lighter. Gobby Gobby Gorilla Jesus Gobby Gorilla Pod One stay tight It's f lens Just won't stay clear I have no footage from today because today we hung out at wow this looks crazy looks like I have like a
clear this screen. I almost want to use my finger. I feel like this sweatshirt is not. It's just it's a lens. It's like there's moisture on the inside. Doesn't matter what I do. I try to take this lens off. So, I think I broke something. I think I bumped something. I bumped something? I think I bumped something. All I'm trying to do is uh, get this lens clean. Oh my god, this lens is so up right now. So um, just to see what it looked like, I tried to take the lens off and ask if I still wanted to use the camera. I said yes. And I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. So <laughs> I feel like I'm I feel like I'm in an '80s music video. This is crazy. I, I I'm definitely breaking something. <laughs> So I don't have the lens on the camera right now. Is the inside of the lens is completely fogged up. The outside of the lens was also fogged up, and now it's all smeared up for me just wiping it with my dirty sweater. But this is what we're getting. This is crazy. I feel like I should just change the ISO. What happens if I change this? Dude. Turn a little, little, little more light in. <laughs> this is so weird. Alright, so ISO 6400. Frame, our shutter speed was 1600. Let's turn it down. 320. It's not that bright in the tent. I just feel like if I'm, I'm in an 80s music video. Alright, that button didn't do anything. Turn my lantern, LED lamp, the headlamp on. <laughs> this is so weird. Alright, I'm gonna stick the lens back on. Alright, so I put the lens back on. ISO was at like 6400, that's what it's at right now. This is what I get in low light. This is so crazy. Turn the ISO down. F stop 5.6. This is banana sandwich. I don't understand what's going on. It just looks really weird. You can't see my finger, but top left light is my iPhone. And this light is my headlamp. And if I just shut the camera off and turn it back on. This is what I get. This is what's going down. Put up manual focus. It's not doing anything. This is. F this is a f situation. I don't even know what to think of this. But it's raining. It's raining outside. We're somewhere in northwest Wyoming. All I wanted to do was come in here and talk to you guys. This is so crazy. Boy. 
this room. Len seems to be working though. I mean, I'm not a. Uh, not a cinematographer. So, uh. I don't know if this is a good shot. Where, where, where should the lighting be? Should the lighting be here? Here? Is that better? You can see my face. Should it be here like I'm. Like I'm telling a scary campground story. Should it be here? Or you want it to be cute? You want me to film Roscoe? Sleeping in my bed. I don't know, that's kind of weird. The whole like 80s movie thing was, or 80s music video thing was kind of strange. I mean, I don't know. Today's been kind of strange. I'm sitting in a tent. I'm in the northwest Wyoming at a public campground. There's bear boxes everywhere, like a ridiculous amount of bear boxes per campsite. I guess uh, grizzly bears are kind of a problem around here. <clears throat> so uh, that's what we're doing. It's pouring rain outside. You can hear it, hopefully, on this microphone. Which I guess is on. Kind of cut the party short. We were all kind of drinking, hanging out, having a good time. All my uh, food is in a metal box with two carabiners and some chains on it. I guess that stops bears from uh, visiting your campsite. Cooler is locked up in the Jeep. My dirty dishes are in the bear box. My f dry food box is in the bear box. And, uh, yeah. That's where we're at. We live in the dream. We're driving our uh, hardcore off road vehicles through Yellowstone National Park. And then, um, from Yellowstone, we drove about 90 miles and I got down to seven or eight remaining miles in gas mileage so I threw a jerry can in and we headed towards Cody Wyoming and ended up here at this uh, public campground there's no firewood so we couldn't build a fire it's been pouring rain since I don't know 10 a.m. it's uh it's midnight now at least and um, I don't know, still having a blast. I'm having a great time. And this is fun. The weather's been a mix of <sighs> warm and humid to cold and snowy, wet, slippery. And then we got a little bit of crisp, frosty, um, had to have gotten down to 18, 17 degrees last night, to tonight, which feels like it's about 40 something outside, it's pouring rain, um, I have the tent heater on. I don't know if you can see that, but Roscoe gets cold, and he's uh, he's a little bit of a bitch. So, got to keep the heater running, keep him warm. I mean, I'm well prepared. I have a wool blanket and negative five degree Fahrenheit sleep bag, cot to keep us off the ground. It's not that cold out right now, but uh, he was shivering, so. Turn the heat on. Try to keep the camera warm. Try to keep it working. 
try to avoid any uh, 80s music videos. Like, I, I don't understand what was going on. I really don't. Everything seems fine now. This is all I wanted. Just wanted to be able to talk to you guys. Let you know how it was going. I don't think we have a lot of content today. I know I didn't get any drone footage. Um, didn't, get, didn't get any GoPro footage. Didn't get a lot of action because there wasn't a lot of action. It was a lot of... Um, we had to go this way. You'll see it. When I show you guys the maps, you'll see that the way we came from and the way we're trying to go, we had to go through Yellowstone. Um, pretty happy I went. It was a good time. It was some um, some scenery I never would have thought I've seen in my life. It was it was kind of incredible. But it was Thursday, off season, rainy, wet, and cold, and it was still packed. And I'm not trying to I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to hang out in the. I'm not trying to be in society, honestly. I'm trying to get away from that. So we kind of got it stuck with uh, dealing with that. But, uh, it, 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 you know, it is what it is. Tomorrow is Friday. I ain't got no job. I ain't got to do. No, it's just, you know, it's one of my favorite movies. It's Friday. We're heading to some guy named Chris's house. Aaron and Ed are being cryptic, cryptic about who we're hanging out with but it's got a gigantic garage we've got a little bit of work to do on all four vehicles the raptor the fj the jeep and the other fj the fj 80 ryan's fj cleaning out fixing some parts getting it ready to go it's the first week we're just you know we're bouncing everything around we're trying to figure out what we're doing trying to figure out what we need and We've got a pretty good idea of what's going on. So tomorrow, it's going to be a lot of footage of uh, us fixing the rigs, cleaning them out. Not even fixing, just kind of tweaking. Nothing's broken. Just got to tweak some stuff. And um, dry some stuff out. Our bedding, our clothing, our tents, our rigs are all just sopping wet. It's been like non-stop, just, just wet. And our forecast for Wyoming for the next week is it's just nothing but rain. So that's what we're dealing with. This light is actually killing my eye. Like, trying to make it look good, you know? Trying to make it look cinematic. Trying to keep you guys entertained. Sorry, today was a little bit boring. But um, it's going to get better. It's only day five. And we got 25 more days of Expedition SEMA to go. And then we got SEMA, which I think is like three days long. And then we got this little tiny gap where everybody's going to be kind of doing their own thing. There's talks of Moab. There's talks of the Alpine Loop in Colorado. I'm thinking I might go visit my parents in Myrtle Beach. Hang out there for a few days. And then head up to Expo East. I'm also thinking about heading back home. Spend some time with my wife. I miss her. I miss my house. I miss my wife. So I might do that. I don't know. Who knows? It's, it's wide open. Adventure awaits. And thank you guys so much for watching. Click that like button punch that dislike button if you don't like it we don't care we're still here we're still doing it we're in the wilderness enjoying life enjoying earth enjoying the united states enjoying off-roading adventure the trees the water the mountains the asphalt just you know living the dream Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Click that notification bell. If you don't know where it is, it's right to the right of the subscribe button. Click that 
Every time we have a new video, you'll know. If we go live, you'll know. If you hate us and we're doing something new and different, you'll know. So you can talk. You can hate. You can dislike. And you can do all that stuff. We don't care. We're just out here doing it. And that's it. And we will see you tomorrow. Peace.